1v1 green tooth jungle blue side. Raging Jenny plays a Commissar Lord. Melee Commander good offense and support. Up against Lobo the Noob Slayer as a mech boy. Teleporting Commander fights range puts out some nice rage damage. Can also repair and put up some structures. And he's going all the way up this southern flank to this power using his mobility to cap quickly. Sentinel into some more guards and I'm not sure purple and orange is the best camouflage ever. Lobo going for double shooters, light ranged infantry scale pretty well with their knob leader and big shooters. Guardsmen relying on sheer numbers to scale with their squad leaders adding numbers to the squad and thus firepower. Come on Sir Lord now going after these shooters with a sentinel in support. These guys could be in trouble. Sentinel very good at harassing infantry squads early on. More shooters coming in but they get ground pounded. And now Raging Jenny's a bit outnumbered. Come on Sir Lord being very brave. Going up against sluggers and shooters who are still cutting away. Gonna need to retreat the squad soon I think and does. With only one loss not too bad. Now the Commissar Lord's in trouble. Caught in retreat by sluggers. Retreating squads of course taking 30% more damage from melee attacks. Retreating commanders indeed of course as well. Sentinel. Ground pound on cooldown. Trying to get away from these sluggers. There is the ground pound, tier 1 vehicle that can decap points but cannot cap them. But has regular heavy armor so small arms fire and indeed orc choppers will hurt it. Sluggers not wanting to push though with Garzman there. Mech boy decapping raging jennies, I suppose you could call this a natural in the north. Lobo has a natural in the south, sluggers will take it. Contested VP right between the two bases, and it's blue right now. Suppose we'll see Kratishan Devils from Raging Jenny. Might see electric armor from the mech boy. Might already have it, and does already have it. Gives him the grenade icon, as you can see. That upwards arrow, meaning he can teleport. Also present on jump squads. That electric armor is going to be very, very nasty for Garzman. Can be devastating to low health. Fire model squads, which epitomizes Guardsman pretty much, and he's teleporting in to use it here. Absolutely nasty, nasty damage. I think it does full damage to retreating squads as well, and those guys get away with two models, might even lose another as he chases with his shooter, and they do lose another. Lots of reinforcing for Raging Jenny to do. Luckily, Guardsman are very cheap to reinforce. Slugger's forced off by a stomp and a bunch of las guns to the face. You see the sergeant at the front there giving him nine members allowing him to reinforce two at a time as well. 484, 452. How is Lobo going to respond? Because I think we are going to see Katashan Devils. Now we've got a chance. 468, 452. He might just go straight to tier 2 try and get Death Dread or something. No, we see another Guardsman squad from Raging Jenny, and he's cancelled it. 466452. Needs about 100 rec to get Kadashan Devils. Has two generators up. One and two generators up for Lobo, spread out. Shooting match, shooters boys versus Guardsmen. These guys have their big shooters. So the guardsmen are forced to retreat, no way Las guns can stand against those things. And again, electric armor in retreat path, nasty, nasty stuff. Get away with three models. Surprise, we haven't seen a death gun from the mech boy, allowing him to teleport around and suppress stuff. He is in fact going for the Daka 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 big shooter. Basically a straight up DPS increase. A 2 to 1 for Raging Jenny done pretty well map control wise and we do see Kadashan Devils on the way and here is that big shooter He's taking a lot of damage moving in to these guardsmen for electric armor and this is very very risky just about gets away there's a stomp some path blocking by the sentinel but he should get away okay sluggers 
also in retreat. Raging Jenny doing a bit better job keeping his forces together. Kadashan Devils hit the field. Versatile infantry which are ridiculously dangerous in this version. Their shotguns do crazy damage, also very effective in melee. And that's some good utility with grenade launcher and smoke grenades and all sorts. Lobo now getting his power hit for 66419, a 1 to 1. Lobo, Lobo has triple here though. Raging Jenny also has triple up here. Lobo scares off the Katajan Devils. Sluggers capping. Will we see some burners on these guys and a rush to this power perhaps? No sign of Lobo getting anything else in tier 1, in fact has enough to go tier 2 and does. Raging Jenny goes at the same time though, even though he got an extra squad out and a very good squad at that. Lobo spending a lot of power upgrading shooters and his mech boy 466397. That electric armor has done pretty well though, almost taking out two squads. Sentinel decapping stuff. Ouch, guys are taking a lot of damage. Can he teleport in for electric armor? Here we go. Can he finish his squad off? We do see aura of discipline, is that it is from the Commissar Lord. Pretty nice accessory, nowhere near as popular as stubbornness though. Heals up his infantry as opposed to him. 466375 and Lobo has lost his sluggers. I'm guessing that was the Katishan Devils. Harassing this VP but unable to take it. Lobo surely will get a weird boy out as soon as possible. Always a very nice choice versus Imperial Guard. Raging Jenny perhaps some Chimera support. More sluggers on the way for Lobo. 466358 Sentinel Ready to prove myself, sir. is getting upgraded, he's getting some extra armor here. Has survived into tier 2, Sentinels don't always get that far. Ground Pound hits the shooters who are fully upgraded now, have their knob leader, who is a detector, as well as adding DPS and survivability to the squad. Look at the map, huge map control for Raging Jenny. Extra armor put onto the Sentinel. And Lobo's getting his power hit big time hit. Here comes the mech boy. Might see some nasty electric armor. Commissar is there though. Needs to be careful and he's activated. He's going for it. Commissar Lord is getting damaged though. So all of those guards when they're getting healed. A really nice counter to electric armor. And mech boy is forced to retreat. Here comes sluggers though. And they have their knob leader. They are vicious. Full retreat from Raging Jenny, but he harassed power and forced off the mech boy. 466317. Lobo needs to start capping stuff. We do see Chimera support on the way for Raging Jenny. Support vehicle allows you to reinforce and can transport some infantry too. And we have a war truck for Lobo. Much the same, but much cheaper and much weaker than the Chimera. Great synergy with sluggers and here they go, they can get in, drive around and unload and chop the crap out of stuff. The knob leader really makes the sluggers so much better, gives them a speed boost, DPS boost and gives them that swamp mobility which they are activating now. Great suppression and a 50% reduction in range damage. Get back into the war truck. Being a vehicle, it's not too worried about those las guns from the Chimera shooting it. Shooters all the way on this eastern edge, decapping stuff. Lobo doing a good job trying to retake the map. 466277. 275, sorry, has a way to go though. Surely we'll see a weird boy next. Surely. Mechboy now has the beamy death gun. Set up weapon, ridiculous anti-vehicle damage. Sir, we're a Can he there. scare off the Chimera with it? 
here is the setup. We have an edge for now. We are under a but it fired at guardsmen, what the hell? Um, Chimera gets away just fine and dandy. Kadashan Devils now have their Sarge, gives them a Melter Gun, making them even more versatile. Shooters going to try and decap Raging Jenny's natural and try and defend his own with these shooters, but they are forced off and they do not have a knob leader. I thought we had knob leaders on both squads. Contested VP uncapped, Sentinel cannot cap it, but these guardsmen can. 466, 457. Shooters capping, and they should be able to finish that cap. Sluggers with Chimera support are constantly reinforcing, but they need to get back in. Ouch, Catch and Devils really did a number on them then. A flare put down on the mech boy. Excellent use of the ability, could not fire at the Chimera. Now trying to set up again. What was that? Missile launchers on the Sentinel using crack grenades against that war truck. There's a stomp. Really, really top Sentinel play from Raging Jenny. I think it's going to take out this war truck. Come on, our Lord, in melee with Sluggers. They've lost their Nob Leader, though. They have some burners. But they need to retreat here. 464, 257. Now they have their Nob Leader back. And look at the difference it makes. Turns the engagement around. Where is that war truck? It's still alive. Sentinel being repaired, still vulnerable to small arms fire of course. Is it coming in for another stomp? There is the stomp. And it's trying to take out this war truck, one more volley from those missiles. Can he get a volley off? Has a very low fire rate with that missile launcher and goes down. Raging Jenny getting greedy, going for the war truck kill. Sluggers now need to repair this thing big time. War truck has done really well for Lobo, reinforced plate and keeping it alive there. 464243. Shooters now capping the contested VP, but look at this Raging Jenny decapping Lobo's natural. And Ogrin's on the way for Raging Jenny. Lobo needs some suppression, I would think, to try and deal with those guys. Ouch, guards on caught on retreat by fully upgraded sluggers. And Chimera taking hits from that beamy death gun too. And now they can cap. We might see the mech boy teleport up and cap that one. There is a demo charge there though, and Gatashan Devils lie in wait. They infiltrate as they are idle, much like Tyranid Gene Stealers do. Tier 3 for Lobo. No doubt wants to get knob squads on the field. Ogrins hit the field for Raging Jenny. Powerful melee infantry, quite tough, quite speedy too, and put out a lot of damage can disrupt when they get their bonehead leader, which they are getting. Gives them the use your red ability. Sir, Shooters will cap here. And yet again, Sir, conflict focused in between these two VPs, as you'd expect I suppose. Katashan Devils menacingly coming up from the rear. Here's the mech boy getting pressured though and forced to back off. I think he really needs to pressure this mech boy. It's the only real threat to that Chimera. Perhaps, perhaps should have got some tank busters before he went tier 3, but there you go. And now this stuff is in trouble because here are some fully upgraded Ogrins. There's User Red disrupting these sluggers. Mech boy has the custom force field, puts it on himself to protect him from those Ogrins. They didn't go after him though. And these sluggers are getting torn to shreds. War truck is supporting them with reinforcements, but they've now lost their knob leader. And there's Call the Boys fully reinforcing these sluggers. But they need their knob leader back. And the mech boy goes down and they get back into the war truck and run. Ogrins must have killed about 12 models then. 458191. And now Lobo's getting his power hit. He is tier 3, but a way off getting knobs. With all that reinforcing, sluggers get back out. And knob leaders on the way. Ogrin's now going after these shooters. Might finish that squad off in retreat. And do finish that squad off in retreat. Lobo's in huge amounts of trouble. This might be game over here. 
Ogryn's leveling to two. The amount of stuff they've killed. Having to retreat though, these sluggers still going. Unbelievable. That's what War Truck support can do for you. Raging Jenny perhaps should have sent his Ogryns at the War Truck. They would have killed it pretty quickly. 458. 166. He has really, really bled Lobo Dry though, having to constantly reinforce these guys. Going after Guardsmen now. You saw they were in retreat and then he cancelled the retreat with the Commissar Execute and gets into the Chimera. Really top level play from Raging Jenny. Sluggers. Pretty dangerous for Raging Jenny here. Ogrins really need to focus on that war truck when they get our base next. They lost two models. Ouch. A victory point is slipping away. Lobo holding on. 458145. Kadasan Devils, Melter Gun taking shots at that war truck. And demo charge going down, looks like. Plasma guns on the guardsmen. Ogrins back to full strength, and he'll try and take this contested VP for a triple. Mines dropped by the Commissar Lord. Global ability of his. They do take a while to arm themselves though. Knock back suppression and damage when you run over him. Not much damage though. Commissar Lord. What was that? Flat jacket? Yes. It's all kicking off here again. Electric armor going off. Might force off all of those guardsmen, no commissar allowed around to support those guys. Mechboy forced off himself and is lucky to get away in the end. Sluggers forcing off Catalan Devils to get back into the war truck. Some nice play from Lobo regarding the war truck and the sluggers I think. And they unload again. But they lost their knob leader again and getting back again. Sluggers level 2 ripping these guardsmen apart with that war truck support. Can they survive though? Here come the Ogrins, this is bad news. Should be going after the war truck, I think. Their Ripper gun is doing some pretty nice damage to those sluggers and the sluggers go down. It's all over for Lobo. And he concedes. 4, 5, 8 to 60 it ends. Was a lot closer than the VPs would tell you though. Lobo did well, but really nice play from Raging Jenny all over the map. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.